A SATA to IDE adapter, or sometimes called a bridge board, is a perfect solution to connecting a SATA DVD drive to a motherboard which does not have built-in SATA capability. The two most common types of DVD drives see with either a serial ATA connection, commonly referred to as SATA, or a 40-pin IDE connection, which is standard in most computers. By installing your new adapter, you will be able to use your existing cable connections, including the flat IDE ribbon cable and standard 4-pin Molex connector, to connect your new SATA drive. The actual adapter installation can be done in just a few simple steps. Before attaching the adapter to your drive, attach the IDE flat ribbon cable to the correct side of the adapter. Be sure to use the master connection at the end of your IDE cable. It is important to leave the slave connection empty in order for your system to automatically detect the drive. Now, attach a standard 4-pin Molex power connector to your SATA to IDE adapter. Make sure the opposite end of your IDE ribbon cable is securely attached to an IDE port on your motherboard. Remember, there should be no secondary or slave drive attached to the same IDE cable. There are no jumpers to set or drivers to install. Once the connections are made, simply reassemble your system and power up your computer as normal. Windows will automatically detect and install your new SATA DVD drive. A SATA to IDE adapter or bridge board is the perfect solution to connecting a SATA DVD drive to a motherboard who does not have built-in SATA capability. The adapter is the easiest, low-cost solution to adding backwards compatibility.